Okay, I think I'm recording this time. I want to show you guys how you can use a flowchart to help plan and organize your program, your code. So this is for like a, a sandwich shop. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is display the bread options in the program. And then I want to input the bread choice. And typically when you're doing input, you use this one here that's not a rectangle. This is a, what is it, parallelogram. So this, in, uh, this shape here indicates input, and then we wanna validate the choice. And this one here is a predefined process. That's another way of saying a function. Um, you've probably written a function, or maybe you're gonna write a function to validate. And then this shape here, the diamond, is for a choice or a branching where it either goes one way or another. So if the choice is not valid, it needs to go back and input another choice. It needs to validate that one and then check again. You know, if it's not valid, goes there. If it is, it'll save the choice in the list. And the next thing that would happen then is displaying the next, you know, the options for the meat or the cheese or whatever it is next, right? And that would really be quite similar to this. We're just changing the word bread to meat or something else. And then after all of that gathering of the uh, input, the choices, you would then also have some code that would maybe loop back through this choice list and print it to the screen just to confirm the order. Maybe it would also add up the subtotal and it would ask for um, the tip and it would calculate the tax and display the total. So that would be at the very end. This program is called Zen Flowchart. You could look it up, but it really is kind of limiting. The free version doesn't allow you to do too many components. So maybe you could just do this on paper if that would help you to organize and plan your code.